Hi Cancer, welcome to your April 2016 love reading. It's Rena here. Well, the card I picked for the overall energy for April is the Ten of Pentacles. So this really is associated with family money in some way. Because I picked a card right after that to describe the recent past and got the Justice card, it does seem to suggest that some of you are coming off of a divorce. It may be some other sort of legal decision that is connected to a former partner, if not an actual divorce. Maybe it was a child custody battle. But with the Ten of Pentacles, it seems that you are being helped financially by your family. Perhaps you're working in the family business in order to have money to be able to support yourself. But there is a definite vibe associated with family. And we just had a partial lunar eclipse in Libra. And Libra falls in your fourth house of home and family. So the eclipses are powerful full moons. And full moons oftentimes are connected to endings. So perhaps you did end a situation with the father or mother of your child and the home unit was disrupted because of this. Now, some of you may not have had this happen yet, but you're in the process because the eclipses are quite long lasting, much more so than the typical new and full moons. So it might be a process of another six months where this plays out for you. The higher perspective of whatever it was that happened, the message from the universe or the higher perspective on the situation is the three of pentacles. And so the spiritual lesson to learn from this, and so the spiritual lesson to learn from this particular event in your life is that when you're building something, whether it's a business or a relationship, make sure that there is enthusiasm for whatever it is that you're doing. In other words, don't just get into something looking at it pragmatically, which cancers want to do. Threes are about creativity. There's a sense of expansion and the pentacles relate to practical matters. So this is a card of building a business or working on a creative endeavor. But it's really hard to work on something that does not grab you, does not interest you. You want to choose a partner who lights up your life. You know, it's not enough to choose a solid person. And of course, there's nothing wrong with choosing a solid person, but just make sure that there is always joy present in that partnership, because that is what sustains the relationship. The action step to take is the nine of swords. Now, <laughs> when you get a card that is very challenging and they're telling you to use it as advice, it's kind of funny. The Nine of Swords deals with anxieties that people have oftentimes in the middle of the night that keep them up and which they can't shake. So in this context, I feel that if you have been coming off of a marriage that was very traumatic in terms of uh, the experiences within it, as well as getting uncoupled from it, that you don't sweep those emotions under the rug because a lot of times people will sublimate their emotions in order to get through a particular situation only to have them turn up later. So however you choose to kind of integrate these troubling feelings is up to you. But some people use meditation because it tends to provide a richer context and they don't see it in a very puny egoic way. 
where it's all about your pain and your experience. But it's more like using it, applying it, and learning from it. The challenge card is the world card, which is a very positive card. So in the challenge position, it doesn't seem like much of a challenge. The world card is about a completion. It's the last card of the major arcana. And so it connects with wrapping things up and there is a sense of victory associated with the world card. It's like you have passed the test of whatever that experience is. I think in this context, it's asking you not to rest on your laurels and just think that now that you are away from that situation, if you did get divorced or left, you know, a, a bad relationship that you can just continue on business as usual. No, I think that you have to alter certain things that put you into that position in the first place. And it does involve looking at yourself. Even if you can make a great case that it was totally the other person's fault in whatever transpired within the relationship, it does take two and understanding the dynamic or how you kind of contributed to whatever happened is extremely helpful in preventing it from happening in the future. Also, this could literally relate to somebody who is from another country than yours. So somebody who is a foreigner, um, this may be somebody that is not a viable partner. It may be somebody that is on the scene right now and you are talking to after your separation or after your divorce, for instance, and you may be tempted to get in a relationship with this person, but there may be issues that need to be dealt with first. Your outcome is the Knight of Wands, and this is an energy that is, I consider, a bit chaotic because the Knight energy to me is like loose cannon type of energy. It doesn't have a lot of, um, except for the Knight of Pentacles, I should say, but there is possible erratic tendencies in the night. And the Knight of Wands represents having a sense of adventure in life. You know, the wands relate to passion, which is exactly what I was talking about earlier, that we need that. When I was talking about the Three of Pentacles, I'm talking about this uh, joy for life. Now, this is more of a, a lust for life and can actually relate to physical desire, um, it could relate to having an affair. So this may be what's happening for you. And maybe it's just for fun. Maybe it's nothing serious. It's a fling. Uh, it could be that you meet somebody who is a ladies man who comes into town, sweeps you off your feet and is gone the next day. This may or may not be okay for you. It could be that you are adopting this. And I do feel that if you, for instance, were in a long-term marriage, that you want to have a period of time where you kind of sow your oats, where you don't just, you know, settling down is second nature to Cancerians. I think it's much harder for you not to settle down, to play the field, to sample from the fruits of life. But sometimes when you're in a transition, like the world card suggests, like the justice card may be suggesting, that you not jump into anything else right away, that you don't just go from one committed relationship to another, because freedom is a valuable teaching. So it'd be really great just to have that space to regroup and to decide exactly what it is that you're looking for in order to move ahead 
into future relationships, Cancer. So I realize, Cancer, that this was pretty specific for probably just a few of you. There could have been other interpretations, but that's what I chose to convey. If you'd like a personalized reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great April. Bye.